What's up everyone? This is Orphan87. Welcome back to Today in WoW. Today we're going to be looking at the weekly reset activities and the daily reset activities as well. To start us off, we're going to look first at our Emissary Quest. The Emissary Quest available today for the Horde is going to be Talani's Expedition. And we're also going to get Stormworks for the Alliance and that is to be done within 24 hours. We got the Sandalarian Fire for the Horde. And Problem with our for the Alliance and that needs to be done within the next uh, 48 hours. And last but not least, we got Propellant Seekers for both the Alliance and the Horde. And that needs to be completed within the next 72 hours. Champions of Astro quests available here in Sandalar are going to be 3 Azerite Mining. Two of those can be found here in Soldasar. One of them is going to be on the northern portion of the map, and the other one's going to be to the west. The last one's going to be here in Boldoom, and it's going to be located on the east side of the map. Ultiras is going to have our final three. One of them is going to be Azerite Mining, and two of them are going to be Empowerment. Asteroid Empowerment Quest available here in Drosphor is going to be in the middle of the map. The Asteroid Empowerment Quest available here in uh, Tiregraph Sound is going to be located right on the northwest portion of the map. And the last one available is going to be Asteroid Mining Quest available here in Stormstone Valley on the southeast portion of the map. The World Boss that is going to be available for this week comes from the quest named the Wing Typhoon. You have to kill Asteroidos in order for you to complete this quest. This boss will have a total of two cloth pieces, one of them being the wind collar Downs hand wraps, and the other one being the Sandal of the Rusting Rage. We're also going to have two leather pieces, the first one being the footpads of the Encircling Storm, and the chest guard of Dire Winds, and this is going to be an asteroid piece. Two male pieces as well, one of them being the feather Gale Force Crest, which is going to be an asteroid piece, and the bindings of the Wind Typhoon. Two plate pieces, one of them being the Talons for Azure Vembrace and the Roots of the Fender Select Guards. We're also going to have a total of three different trinkets. First one being Azureta's Signed Plumage, which is going to be an intellect based trinket. The next one being the Gale Collar's Beak, which is going to be a strength based trinket. And the last one being Plume of the Seaborn Avian, which is going to be a haste based trinket. Don't forget that the item level drop by this specific world boss is going to be 355 or higher. And you have the ability to roll with your seals in order for you to get extra loot. Today marks the beginning of the Battle for Astra dungeon event. Well, this event is active, any of the final bosses in any BFA dungeons will award an extra item when defeated. This will be available for the next week. The brawl available for this week is going to be Packed House. The rules are very simple. It's basically a team deathmatch with 15 players for each team, and the last team standing wins. The weekly quest is going to be the Emissary of War. In order for you to complete this quest, you have to complete a total of 4 dungeons in mythic difficulty in order for you to earn a cachet of all your treasures. You'll also be able to gain the Radiant Asteroid Fragment. As with every week, don't forget to visit the Master of Fates in order for you to get the Seals of War and Fate. Remember that you can get two per week for a total of five that you can carry at a time. The seals can be turned in for any of the world bosses, including the ones located in the uh, warfronts, and any of the raids in any difficulty. The other expeditions available this week is going to be Dread Chains, Ungol Ruins, and Whisper and Reef. Remember that you can complete this in normal, heroic, mythic, or PvP difficulty with the last two where you have to bring a group in order for you to complete those. The last activity to discuss this week is going to be the Call to Arms. For this week, you're going to have to go to Drossbar and kill a total of 10 players of the opposite faction. Once you complete this quest, you'll be able to earn a Steel Strong Box, 50 Conquest Points, and 250 Honor. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you have any questions or suggestions, make sure you leave those below. This is Dwarven87, signing off. See you in our next video.